Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we want to see how to create custom variables using a SMSS policy. Let's take a simple use case. Let's say whenever a request comes into Apache Edge, you want to create some custom variables that you would like to use in uh, later stage of the API request or even in the API response. Let's say for example, you want to set these variables when the request comes in and you want to retrieve the same custom variables in the response and use it in some other policy and then modify the API behavior and send it back to the client. You can able to do it using a send message policy. Let's see it in action. I'm in Apache Edge logged in as our administrator. Let's try to create a simple API proxy to demonstrate uh, the custom variables concept. Click on plus proxy. Choose reverse proxy, choose next. I'm going to name my proxy as am custom var demo. Choose the base path as slash v1 slash am custom var demo. I'm going to choose the existing API as http bin.org slash get. Choose next, choose pass through, choose defaults, build and deploy. Once API proxy is deployed, navigate to the overview screen to access uh, the proxy endpoint. So this is my proxy endpoint. Once it is deployed, you will see under the deployments. This is my proxy endpoint. As you can see, you can see the same response. Click on develop. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some custom variables in the request using a SMSS policy. So I'm gonna say SMSS am create custom var. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create new variables as well as remove the variable once it is uh, created. So I'm going to use a same variable to create a new variable. So I'm going to name it as x var a and the value I'm going to take it as from the other variable. So I'm going to take it from the request. So request uh, dot query param dot a and then I'm going to remove this query param once it is stored in the temporary variable called xf and var f and a. So I'm going to remove the query param a because my backend is not accepting this query parameter. Let's assume that and then yeah we don't need uh, curly braces here so remove the curly braces from ref uh, just the reference request on query param in. So what we're going to do is we're going to read this uh, custom variable uh, in response flow and then modify the response uh, before it is uh, sent to the client. So what you're going to do is you're going to add uh, one more uh, send message policy to the pre-flow response. Click on pre-flow and uh, click on plus step below the response to add uh, one more send message policy. So I'm going to use one more send message policy. Click on response step and then add it. Ascend message uh, use custom var. Click on add. So I just clicked on plus step in the response and I added this uh, use custom var ascend message policy. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new header to the response from the variable that we have created in the request. So I'm going to remove everything except uh, headers add. So I'm going to create uh, a new response header called aim is equal to x variable a and uh, take the value from x i fn var fn a. So let's see that in action. So I'm going to use uh, postman. So I'm going to copy this particular uh, endpoint and then make an API call with a is equal to 20. And this should not go to the backend, but it should be available to the client in the response. Let's see that. As you can see here, we, even though we are sending uh, a is equal to 20, the orgs are not available in the response because we are removing an RPG edge. And in the response header, you can see x variable a 20 because we are leveraging the custom variables to populate this response header. So that's how uh, SMSS policy custom variable works. If you have any question, please feel free to post your questions in community.apache.com.